So I wanted to get this video out before long legs because uh, I have been going, well, I, I don't want to say that I've been going through Osgood Perkins filmography because I've seen The Black Coat's Daughter a long time ago. That's like one of the best horror films I've seen in, in a long time. Black Coat's Daughter is a masterpiece. It, and it even has poor ratings uh, on IMDb and such. And I don't know why because that film is so good. And uh, Gretel and Hansel, which I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Gretel and Hansel. Uh, I, I know that film has garnered uh, a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, cult followings over the last couple of years. Um, and it's not that I entirely hated it or, or I, I didn't hate it. It just it wasn't my cup of tea. But there's another film that he made, which I feel like a lot of people don't even know about. Um, and it's called I'm the Pretty Little Thing That Lives in the House. And I wanted to talk about this film because I feel like it gets a lot of unfair hate. And again, I'm not any, I'm, I do not care about review scores whatsoever. I usually don't pay attention to them. I think this is kind of a prime example. But if you look uh, at the ratings and the reviews for this, I mean, it's got a 4.6 on IMDb, 57% uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't like horrible, uh, but it's got like a 20 something percent from the audience score. Um, and it's got a 68 on Metacritic, uh, but it's gotten like a lot of one out of a tens. And I hate that because I feel like this film just does not deserve it whatsoever. It is a Netflix film and it does not have a physical media release, which I hope that changes now that Long Legs uh, is out. And I'm pretty sure people will probably, you know, if they enjoy Long Legs, they'll probably go back and watch some of the films that he's made, Osgood Perkins. But I'd love like Criterion to release it uh, or whatever. But I'm the pretty little thing that lives in the house. Now, when I first saw this film, um, I I viewed this film twice, and I was just, I don't know, I, I, I didn't entirely like it, but I didn't entirely dislike it. But on a greater, uh, I guess you could say understanding, I've come to appreciate the film. And I think one, one thing that I hate a lot I don't like it is is there are a lot of people that will give a film like a one out of a ten just because uh, it's got too much dialogue or they think it's slow and I think slow cinema very much so is a stylistic choice um, I've I, I can understand why people don't like slow films and that's completely fine everybody's got a you know a right to their own taste um, but I feel like leaving a one just because it is slow. Like if you're watching a film and you don't entirely hate it and you can acknowledge that it's well made, but it's just extremely slow and you just don't want to finish it, just quit watching it. You know, don't, don't, don't just force yourself through it and leave a hateful review, you know, because it seems that's what's happened with this film. Now, the film itself is not that long whatsoever. Um, it's around 80 something minutes long. It's, it's a pretty short watch, um, but it does have a lot of, it, 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 does, it takes its time, it does, it takes its time. But what the film is about, a hired, care, hired to care for a reclusive elderly author, a live-in nurse co <laughs> comes to believe her house is haunted. And it does this cool thing where we do follow the nurse and there are some things that happen in this house. There's one specific sequence that I really like where she's sitting down and uh, it involves it involves the phone line or, or whatever. And I like that sequence a lot. Now this film is not scary. It actually has some pretty creepy camera movements, I think. There are two portions towards the end of the film that I thought are were really impactful just from an atmospheric standpoint. Um, but Again, this film, it, on a surface level, it does not seem like it's doing much at all. Uh, you're basically just following this uh, nurse as she's walking through this house and spooky stuff's happening. I know that sounds kind of unprofessional to say, but that really, from a surface level, that's all that's going on. But when you start looking at it at a deeper level and you start realizing, what a, my favorite thing about this film is the history um, that is included in the house. Like... I, I just seeing, you know, her walk around the house and then it sort of takes us back and um, you get to see other things. It's just, it, it shows that there's a lot of history in the house and that the house has been there. And it just, I don't know, it, it's kind of like it adds a little bit of uh, poof, I guess you could say. Um, and and I would classify, and this is something that Osgood Perkins is, is known for. He, he does this a lot. 
um, it, abstract horror. Um, I feel like a lot of his films are abstract to where I think that abstract horror should just be a genre in itself because I've noticed it. Uh, it it's, it's definitely more prominent uh, as, you know, we've evolved, I guess you could say, the last couple of years. Like, he really will focus on set pieces a lot. Um, and there's a lot of like uh, little vignettes in this film where basically we'll cut from one thing happening to the in the house and then we'll cut to another thing happening in the house and then we'll just cut to sort of like this dark void with this woman just standing and the cameras pushing in and then you hear people talk and then that can be pretty off-putting I think to people but for me I found it just a tad bit charming. There's also another portion of this film that I really appreciated where um, it, the camera is holding on the house. And it, and, and it goes from day to night, day to night, and then people are coming up to the house. And I thought that that was not only impressive filmmaking, but also, again, it was just very atmospheric. I can't even talk. Atmospheric. I feel like there's a lot of atmosphere in this film, and I hope that with Long Legs, uh, you know, releasing, um, people will hopefully uh, check this film out, just like Black Coat's Daughter, because... I feel like when a director makes a quote-unquote bad film, you know, something that audiences could not connect to, uh, when they do make that good film, everybody will go back and reevaluate their work and be like, oh, wow, turns out, turns out that they were not a crappy filmmaker. They just were a master and we didn't know it. And I hate that. That just, ah, it's so stressful sometimes. Uh, but yeah, Osgood Perkins, I think, is a terrific filmmaker. I Like I said, Black Coat's Daughter is fantastic. Um, you should definitely check it out. I've noticed a lot of people have been making videos on the Black Coat's Daughter lately that I've seen on YouTube. So I figured I would make one for the pretty little thing that lives in the house um, because, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it, it, it deserves some more love. I really appreciate it a lot. I think it's good. Um, and yeah, definitely, definitely maybe check it out. It's insane because the film came out almost 10 years ago. It came out eight years ago. Wow crazy. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Next time I talk about Osgood Perkins, it'll be about long legs. But anyway, if you want to check out my filmography, definitely do so down in the comments below. and uh, Or not the comments below, description below, whatever. I'm stopping this video. Bye.